Hey, I'm Drew, and this is Video Diary of a Modern Musician. A lot of people are going back to school this week, whatever that means this year, and every student is going through the beginning of a new personal journey, whether that's starting high school or moving back to college or starting that graduate degree in this completely upside-down world. So I want to talk about MVP. People toss this term around all the time, the minimum viable product. I think during this fall, it's going to be one of the most important concepts for anyone to learn as we begin this new school year. It's going to help you do more with less and also help you just be generally content with your work. And I want to preface it with this. I'm not telling you what to do. This isn't the be all end all concept for success. Uh, it's just my thoughts and experiences laid out for whoever wants to listen. So if you disagree, that's cool. This video isn't for you. But if you're at the beginning of some sort of project or uh, an idea, a school year, a career, I think this is gonna help you out. So let's break it down. Minimum, uh, the least amount, the lowest, the bottom. In some ways it might be incomplete or have problems, but generally the least amount, minimum. Viable is feasible, it's usable, workable. Your project has bright spots, it's viable. And obviously product is the thing you're making, the result, the conclusion of your work. That's it, product. The most important word here is viable. Ask yourself two questions. What is the point of this project and does it currently get that point across? Here's where you need to start thinking about your overall goal and being realistic with yourself with the answers. Your, your goals can't be to create a viral YouTube video and get famous or record an album that gets nominated for Album of the Year at the Grammys. Those are lofty goals, even for a very successful professional career. But I want to challenge you to find something more personal, right? Something like, I want to redo my social media, or I want to update my website, or even I want to record a song to tell my partner that I love them. These are good goals, and they're personal. They mean something to you, and it's appropriate for your plan, and it's achievable with the resources you have at your disposal. It's viable. It gets the point across, and it's usable. Now, this is where it starts to get complicated. Doubt starts to creep in. You start to think, oh, well, I need to change that thing, or this one thing isn't good enough. Stop. Ask yourself those two questions. What is the point of this? And does it get that point across? If the answer to that second question is yes, then you need to set some sort of timetable, a couple more hours work, a couple days more, to think about it, and then you need to share it. This is critical. I've had so many ideas lost or wasted because I wanted to make it better. It wasn't perfect. I had to mold it into this perfect thing, and I was just making it for myself. No one else. You have to share your art in order to be successful. It's never going to be perfect. So don't try to make it perfect. What makes something great or beautiful is that we can see its flaws. You see its problems, and yet you're captivated anyway. This is a human thing. We're all humans. When you watch someone walk across a tightrope and they have that big long stick, right? You're watching them correct mistakes in real time. If it was perfect, they would just walk across and they wouldn't move the stick at all. There's no story, there's no drama. Sure, it's perfect, but that doesn't mean anything. It's impossible. No one can do that. So when they walk out there and they lean a little bit to the left and they have to overcorrect and they go right, watching that... Your, your heart and soul wants nothing more than to see them make it across, right? Well, when you create something, your audience wants nothing more than to see you succeed. They want you to reach the other side, and they're going to help you do it. All because you started. You took the first step. So, MVP is so much more than just minimum viable product. It's starting. It's taking that first step onto the tightrope, knowing that you have an audience that's on your side, 
even if you make mistakes. So go start the thing you want to do. Go be successful. I'll be cheering you on from the sideline. And I can't wait to see it. And I hope this inspires you to go begin something that you've always wanted to do. Whether that's a, a, a big career-defining project or a simple new hobby. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, click subscribe. I have new videos coming out every Thursday. And you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.